Good morning, BHS, and welcome back to the Indian Insider. Today is Monday, February 27th, 2017. I'm Rachel. And I'm Olivia. Today we will have a look at sports and the weather, but first, today's announcements. UTC applications are due March 1st, no exceptions. Mon General Health and Career Scholarship applications are due March 15th. Applications are available on the Junior Senior BHS website. And now to Elijah for the sports. Over the weekend, girls basketball fell to Lincoln in the sectional championship and will travel to Lewis County next week for a chance to play in the state tournament. Cooper Hyman and Aiden Gibson both finished sixth place in the state wrestling meet, and today will be tennis tryouts as well as track and baseball both officially begin today. Tomorrow, boys varsity basketball will play Lincoln at home in the first part of the sectional championship beginning at 7. I'm Elijah Smith, this is Sports Corner, and now Alexi for the weather. Today, expect partly cloudy skies with some showers and a low of 32 and a high of 54. Tonight is going to be cloudy with a chance of showers. Tomorrow, expect a low rain in the afternoon with a high of 67 and a low of 58. And it's currently 35 in Bridgeport. I'm Lexi with the Indian Inside Weather. Now back to Olivia and Rachel. Thanks, Lexi. Softball tryouts will begin today from 5 to 7 p.m. at Bridgeport Middle School Gym. A physical is required to participate. If you need an additional transcript for a scholarship that is not registered with the parchment, pick up a transcript request on Counselor Jane Bird's door. The deadline for Fairmont State's Promise and Beyond is Wednesday, March 1st. Deadline for the FAFSA is March 1st. You cannot receive state or federal financial aid without filling out this document. Go to FAFSA.gov to begin the process. Last Friday, Governor Joe Manchin was at Bridgeport High School to honor a few students headed to U.S. Service Academies. Here is Doug Soule with the story. On Thursday, February 23rd, Bridgeport High School had the pleasure of welcoming Senator Joe Manchin to honor seniors who have been nominated to attend U.S. Service Academies. Bridgeport High School students Fisher Rector, Zachary Kimball, and Cole Amos were all nominated to attend West Point Military Academy. Hayden Miller of Bridgeport and also Alexander Altenberg of Notre Dame High School were recognized for their nomination into the Naval Academy in Annapolis. After recognizing these students, Senator Joe Manchin talked about the challenges in Washington and throughout the entire country. Now, first of all, make it very clear, whether you're Democrat or Republican, there shouldn't be anybody that doesn't want a clean environment. I don't think, I've not met a West Virginia yet that wanted to drink dirty water or breathe dirty air. Now the bottom line is, 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 is how, how over, overreaching should government be? And that's where I've had, I try to find the balance between economy and environment. Not only did Senator Manchin talk about national problems, he also specified his belief in the benefits of art. Well, when I was governor, we expanded the funding for the arts more than any other time in the history of the state of West Virginia. Because I believe in it. I think, it's, I think it's a window to your soul. It's who you are, the arts. And it's part of a well-rounded education. It's part of also maturing and growing. And right now, they keep cutting it back because they think it's extracurricular activity. And it's so much a part, and it should be entwined. Everybody should be involved in some form of the arts. I don't care what it is. After Senator Manchin finished speaking, Bridgeport High School media managed to steal a few minutes of the senator's time. Senator Manchin had a message for the youth of West Virginia about activism and education. If you don't become involved at a young age, you might miss 10 or 20 years before you do get involved. Then it might be too late. So if you have concerns now, whether it's your health care, whether it's the security of our nation, whether it's basically the direction we're going, the opportunities that the working families have, you should be out learning about it and talking about it now. And that's coming to public forums, talking to any of us elected officials, uh, and let us be able to, you know, I always said, here's the challenges we face. Here's our pathway forward. There's maybe two or three different pathways. Which one would you recommend? But you have to be involved and understand it, and also stay up on uh, current events. Your says, read the paper, watch, ask questions, get involved. First of all, get the education, the best education you can get. Uh, and that doesn't mean you have to go on to college, but you have to get additional skill sets. Go to the community technical college, get you a skill set that are put, applicable to the job that you're looking for. Make sure you exercise your right to get the best education and we'll help you. We'll help you get the skill sets. Most importantly, you keep yourself clean. You cannot be a drug addict in any way, shape, or form. That'll keep you out of the workforce. So, Education, drug free, I'll guarantee you, we'll have the jobs in West Virginia. Well, the bottom line is not a person shouldn't get an education if they want it. Primary and secondary education up through high school is free in West Virginia. It's the greatest opportunity you have. There's other opportunities. I don't want any person to believe they can't afford to go on to school. 
If you think you can't afford it, you call me in my office and we'll make sure we find a pathway forward for you. Uh, you can't afford not to get an education. So we'll help you. Don't think because, well, my family doesn't have enough money, I don't have money, I don't know how to go on and get be able to pay for school. We'll show you a pathway forward. So don't anybody give up. And they have to have different additional skill sets through education opportunities. It's clear that Senator Manchin values education and service just like the five seniors honored today. At Bridgeport High School, I'm Douglas Soule with the Indian Insider. Thanks, Doug. Governor's Honor Academy scholarship deadline is March 1st. To apply and for more information, check out www.fsu4me slash GMA. John Ebert will be hosting an ACT math prep class Wednesday, March 22nd at East Fairmont High School. So register, log on to johnebertactmathprep.com. Today for lunch, we will be having corn dogs, and tomorrow there will be grab and go. That's all the news we have for you today, BHS. Have a marvelous Monday.